Hello YouTube, it's Shane here. This video is part of a multi-part series I'm doing on how to build your own home automation controller. So if you haven't started already from the top, I would suggest you click the link in the description or the annotation right now on the screen to go to that playlist and work your way down as some of the things I do in this video may not work unless you've completed prior steps. Hey guys, so in this video, we are going to be installing screen on the Raspberry Pi. So obviously the first thing you're gonna need to do is SSH into your Raspberry Pi. So it, to do that, you, type, you open terminal and then you type in SSH, the username, which in our case is Pi, and then the IP address of your Pi. This will obviously be different to mine. Oops. There we go, and then the password that we created earlier in the previous tutorial. Boom, okay, so once you're logged in, it's actually really easy to install things in uh, in Linux. Um, you basically just go sudo apt dash get, and then we're gonna put in update. And what this is gonna do is it's just gonna refresh all of the uh, basically like the link, so the system is gonna find out where are all the packages that we need. So let's run this, and I'll get back when it's done. Okay, so once that is done, we're gonna then simply install screen by going sudo apt-get install screen. And it's really that simple, hit enter, and it's probably gonna ask you, no, there we go, now it's installing. Okay, so let's come back once it is installed. Okay, so I just had to re-log in, which is why my screen looks different. Um, so to use screen, all you need to do is go screen uh, dash s to create a new screen. You give that screen a name, so let's give it test, and then hit enter, and boom, now we're inside a screen. And then to go back, you go, you hit control a d, and then it will come back, and it will say detached from from the screen named test. And so we can create another screen, let's say test two, and we can enter that. And this allows us to run something like, let's say, let's say ping Google, okay, dot com, and it's pinging, it's gonna ping Google. Now we can leave the screen and it will continue to ping Google. That's why we need to use screen. And then if we go screen dash R, it'll list all the screens and uh, whether they attached or detached. So you can see they detached and we can reattach to the screen by going R and typing in the number, which is there. So that's two, eight, six, six, three, and boom. And as you can see, it was pinging the entire time while we were detached, which is quite nice and useful because that's how we can run Python scripts um, without being attached and then still being able to monitor them. Okay, so if you wanna stop something in Linux, what you're gonna do is push Control C and then you'll get that, it will basically exit out. Um, and then to get out of the screen, to close the screen permanently, you just type in the word exit and it will jump out and it will say the screen's terminated. And then if you do R and there's only one screen uh, available, it will jump straight in there. So we jump straight in, so let's exit that as well. There we go, so that's how to use screen. Okay, so there's how to use screen. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, if you liked the video, please thumbs it up. If you didn't, thumbs it down. Uh, please comment below and subscribe for more of my content. Thank you.